So we had Linux World, which Rich, Rich Green, who is senior vice president in charge of software for Sun Microsystems. Um, Rich Sun at Java One announced that they will actually open source Java. Um, how far are we, and when can we see the first code? Well, we've uh, announced today that, in fact, the first uh, uh, code releases will be uh, late October. Uh, and I think the big announcement, besides uh, we announced that Java 1 of, of open sourcing uh, Java SE, is will also be open sourcing Java ME, which is the uh, version of Java that runs on more than a billion handsets worldwide, both the CLDC software stack as well as the CDC software stack. Uh, and what can I expect in October? Uh, a major drop of code, we, as uh, you're probably aware, there's the issue of uh, making sure that all the encumbrances are taken care of and that all the community members that have worked with us over the years are, uh, are uh, aware of the changes or offerings that we're going to make. So it's a complicated process. Java is a very mature technology with many, many participants contributing code over the years. We want to make sure that all the uh, concerns are answered. So we'll be uh, dropping major core sections of, of Java SE, hotspot technology, other, uh, other things like that, early in, uh, in October. All right. um, what do you expect to gain from open sourcing Java? I mean, you have had the um, Java community process for a while, so people have been able to, to give their input mm -hmm. for the process. What is this going to add? Well, it's a very fair question. In fact, uh, the Java process has perhaps been one of the most open and collaborative development processes for a software platform of all time. And uh, many have asked that question, but truth is that uh, this can get further acceptance of Java, greater contributions on the part of developers to both build on as well as enhance the stack, uh, better quality, better uh, performance by people examining the software itself, a uh, better adoption. There are certainly uh, organizations throughout the world that are requiring only open source software as the platform upon which they'll build applications, um, and uh, larger numbers of developers who will experiment with Java and uh, probably write the next generation of innovative applications. So is this going to make Sun, uh, help Sun make more money? or? Well, it probably will, ultimately. I mean, I, I think any time there are more developers associated with a Sun and Sun-related technology, creating more interesting content, uh, that is usually a, a very early indicator of success of a company. Many of the most successful companies in the world have very aggressive developer programs. Sun, uh, the number two uh, Java development platform in the world with NetBeans. Uh, we have one of the most uh, uh, visited uh, developer sites in the world, the Sun Developer Network, with more than two million developers on it. Uh, we have a wide-ranging collection of developer programs, and developers are the decision makers, they're the folks who really drive the computer business and uh, ultimately will uh, certainly help Sun's revenue. What kind of licenses are you looking at for open source Java? Uh, the, the licensing question is still not nailed down. What, we have, what we've uh, discussed today is that it will be a standard OSI uh, compliant license. We're actually looking for input on the part of uh, you know, the, the open community and the, the Java community to get their sense of which of these uh, selections, what's the strengths and weaknesses, what, what would serve people better. It's part of the process we're going through in open sourcing our technology. Now, if you're looking at the preventing of forking within Java, um, GPL traditionally has been pretty good at making sure that at least people cannot create something proprietary out of the code. So is GPL in the race? or Well, as an OSI license, it's certainly one for consideration. But we think that forking the code, uh, or rather, more positively, maintaining compatibility, is best served by building a community of people who really are interested in maintaining compatibility, who use the NetBeans developer tool suite to develop guaranteed compatible code. Unlike other Java tools out there, you always know that if you use NetBeans, it will be compatible. So we'd rather much more use the, the values that we can bring to the market rather than sort of a, <clears throat> a license as a technique to do it. But we'll, we'll consider all things. Um, but there's no specific tendency to, to favor any license over the other at this point. Well, like I said, we're... Is there a shortlist, for instance? Uh, just the, the shortlist is defined by... Um, the 64, the OSI. OSI. Yes, and, um, you know, the, the, the top N are more likely to be the case. It's, it's 64 long, but I, I think realistically we're looking at four or five different licensing uh, capabilities that tend to be the most common ones, but that's all we can say at this time. And, and like I said, 
the more input we, re we receive, the more uh, insight we receive from folks involved in the process, the, the better and more uh, fulfilling decision we'll make. Mm -hmm. Is forking still an issue given the huge number of Java implementations out there already? It's a good question. I, I think it's always a risk. I think there's um, more likely the risk of forking uh, for for accidental reasons. People go and take the code and and uh, create enhancements or variants and are unaware that they're going to make change. Uh, uh, malicious forking, uh, people who want to fork the code uh, to create an incompatible world, I think is uh, less likely because there's so much com uh, Java content out there that will that will run on compatible Java, that people building incompatible implementations uh, will find that they can't run the apps. And so it's often the content that is the vehicle for driving compatibility, but it, it, it's an important value to focus on to make sure is preserved going forward. Uh, moving to mobile uh, Java, there's a big push to create a mobile version of Linux. Um, is a mo uh, open source Java on top of that mobile Linux required, or? Well, I think it's it's very. What's preferred. the value? I mean, the the number of apps out there for uh, Java ME, both for the CDC and CLDC software stacks, is in, is in the millions, and it's a huge piece of the uh, mobile uh, communications market, set top box market. Uh, so, uh, you know, we think of Linux, for example, as an operating system, a core platform upon which uh, uh, Java environments are hosted, and it's it's often the Java APIs uh, that uh, garner most of the application content. So uh, they work well together, uh, but as the application platform, uh, Java is 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 the winning one. Um, I guess the mobile phone is not. Not, not known as much as an open platform as the PC is today or the computer in general. Is that going to change as a result of all the open source software that's going to run on top of it? Or Well, uh, almost certainly. I mean, it, it. there are a number of factors driving this change and I think we're just a, a part of that. Uh, over the last couple of years, the, the horsepower, the, the systems capability of a mobile device has grown dramatically. Microprocessor, memory, uh, uh, screen real estate has converted what was a telephone into a uh, essentially a portable wireless computer that happens to run a telephony app, but it has open APIs and, and interfaces to run lots of other apps. That, that's one. I think the adoption of a standard-based platform like Java is another way. And so open source is just another technique uh, to build a larger developer community. And there are other things that uh, we'll, you'll see in the future that will make it a much more open way of uh, developers who historically have worked on the PC platform to realize that it's a much bigger market. It's a much higher volume and faster growing market for the deployment uh, and, and uh, probably financial opportunities for their application.